Various and Dreams Joseph going into their very first match. We've got the pre bans already out. Gianna getting pre banned and the Lulu getting pre banned by Zavarius. Interested to see if uh, Dreams Joseph will bring out an old tech. He used to have a Swift Shield Josephine that he would use against uh, Gianna users, but uh, might not see it this time. Various does take away the Lulu, which I think is very effective for Dreams Joseph here. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely indeed. Okeanos being the first pick for Dreams Joseph. Severius with the Connell and the Chung Pung being drafted. This might be the first match we haven't seen a speed lead in the first round of picks. Severius going for something I personally like, the Chung Pung Connell there. Yeah, definitely want to lock in some of those safe picks there. I think there's just a lot of speed leads nowadays that people can draft, especially with more being added to the mix of things. And then we have Ciara and Juno being picked by Dreams Joseph. Severius looking to respond. Interesting. Dreams Joseph taking an early Juno there is not afraid at all of a more Barbara setup here. Dreams Joseph having two fire units. More Barbara is a very effective setup here. It's Farius instead dropping the Barbara, going for a Hay Gang. Very strong into Juno. Does give the extra attack bar every time she cleanses. Yeah, Hay Gang looking very strong and that more. But of course, we're going to be seeing a Diana with those two water units being drafted. Diana is going to be coming in as well as another pick. And it is going to be the Molly. Diana Molly pretty strong here, actually. Molly denies a lot of value from Carnal and Chung Fung, and we know how Diana is, especially Dreams Joseph's Diana, that big crit damage, absolutely obliterating units left and right. Definitely, I think it's favoring Dreams Joseph a little bit with this high damage draft, but it looks like Seferis is going to be bringing his own high damage draft in the form of Kaki. I like this cocky pick. I feel like we're leaning towards a Sierra Ban in this situation. The rest of the units don't as easily go through the cocky. He has a lot of damage. All right, well, bans are going to be coming out shortly. I would imagine these two take their time here. Really want to think it through in this best of five between each other. Yeah, best of fives. Tough for both of these players. The is very, very strong on ladder. Dreams Joseph, one of the strongest VO5 players that we know. Very good at adjusting his drafts. Most definitely, bans are out. Kaki's gonna be banned on Safari's side of the field. Dreams Joseph is not gonna have his Ciara here, but we still have a speed lead on the side of Safari's team. Is he able to get that edge, get these negative effects he's looking to apply? Or is this Juno gonna be in favor of her today? We know these Junos can be a little messy as we get into this round one with Dreams Joseph and Safarius. First turn going to the water Ryu. Misses the strip on Diana, but it doesn't matter because she will get boosted forward. She will take the next turn. Well, Diana's going to be cycling here. A little dangerous having this Connell and this Chung Pong primed and ready. Takes the risk, though. Not afraid. Does get the extra turn. Saw the attack bars on the other units. Definitely took some risk for sure. Diana's still looking fairly healthy right now. And the situation, it looks like these guys are all tuned to violent, but... That water you potentially on Swift. There's that skill three getting the slow with the additional turn as well. He needs to land the attack bar reduction. Lands two out of three. Does get a turn in. Cuts in. Goes for the Okeanos. Misses the provoke though. It does look like Zavarius has a pretty big advantage with all the damage on the field, but I think Dreams Joseph is about to turn it around. He's about to have a lot in return. Definitely, most definitely going to have a lot in return coming soon. No stun landing on top of Chung Pung. Chung Pung might go for that skill too. I really wanted the skill two glancing on the Okeanos with the Hay Gang, but didn't hit it. Juno does cleanse, so attack bar goes up, but a big heal comes through as well. There's a great size heal. Looking for a despair stun on top of that Connell, not receiving it here. We're going to see a big skill too coming up for some attack bar pushback. No despair stuns coming through here. Glancing sitting on top of Dyna. Dyna cannot cycle with this. Most likely seeing a swift uh, more here. Probably not on despair considering how fast it was. Although Zafarius could have the incredible runes to do it. We need a lot of damage here from Zafarius. It's not looking so pretty right now. Definitely not. Unless Zafarius can take down this Diana, then he's going to be in some pretty good shape. He's got to be wary about this Molly getting this additional turn, healing up his team so much. Molly lands the cleanse, gets the cleanse, and an additional turn. Cleanses her own debuffs. Yep, plenty of uh, healing on the side of Dreams Joseph right now. His team is looking a little low at the moment, though. We're going to see that skill, too, coming out, trying to remove that shield off the Diana, not receiving it here. 
Those two stuns were massive value. It does give Zephyrus a lot of opportunity to play around what Dreams Joseph has. A lot of damage can come out the extra turn from the Carnal. Does really give you a lot of attack bar boost and turns forward. There's another one, has the skills ready again. Yeah, big proc also getting that provoke on top of the Diana. Diana not able to do anything about that. Here it is, additional damage comes out. The big skill three reset from Chung Fung into the Carnal skill three could be enough to finish it off. This might be enough there. Gets that skill three into the skill two with the Chung Pung. We're going to see this big third skill coming out with Connell. Can he drop all of Dreams Joseph's unit? And he pretty much does so. Water Ryu or the more finishing off that Molly. Sefarious with a huge victory over Dreams Joseph. Yeah, absolutely incredible. A very dominant showing of all of these AOE control units. The slow debuff, the attack bar reduction, the extra turn mechanics, as well as the attack bar game mechanics on his own team. Just had so much pressure and really fully controlled. You know, that second rotation of Carnal Skill 3 landing two stuns, both on the Molly and the Okeanos, gave him that breathing room to really take down the Diana. Definitely gave him a lot of breathing to take down that Diana. That was the key units removed from the field, but he removed everybody instead. Dreams Joseph looking to bounce back, getting into a round two with Safarius. Safarius with the first pick. Prevans are already out. That looks like a light unicorn getting banned out. And it is a light unicorn. Uh, Safarius has done his homework, knows that Dreams Joseph does have the Eleanor. And there it is. Dreams Joseph immediately leaning in, going back to what he's comfortable with. The Sierra Barber comes out. Safarius leaning back to standard, pretty standard ladder drafting here. We see the more alongside Chung Pung and Okeanos. Zavaris looking at drafting two more units. He does have that Gianna now with the Connell. Dream Joseph possibly bringing back this Vanessa that we've seen so many times from him to just help with these, uh, just having a little bit more damage and security for his Beast Riders. I'm not sure if I like Safaria slamming down Carnal and Gianna here. No second speed lead is a little bit scary into a speed lead Barbara opportunity. If you ban the speed lead, you might get outsped. If you ban the Barbara, you might just not have enough pressure. Well, Lulu is going to be banned out here. Gianna's getting banned out. Speed leads for both teams. Can Dreams Joseph get a victory in here so that he's not looking at 2-0 to try and climb into that third match? But here we go, guys. Zephyrius incredibly fast does actually take turn one away from the Barbara. That base speed difference just not being enough for Dreams Joseph. Oh, things are going Zverius' way so well right now. Big Rain of Stones coming out there. Masha not looking so good. We're going to see that huge third skill coming out of the Connell. Zverius just with absolute control right now. Does dismount the Masha. Does dismount the Barbara. Looking so good for him. Yeah, Dreams Joseph really went into this match kind of gambling that he would be moving ahead of Zephyrus, and it's not looking very good right now. The defense break comes up on two. Sierra should go down this turn. Yeah, I think Ciara is definitely going to be going down this turn. Goes for the reset on top of Barbara. Barbara really can't do anything here. Everybody's just looking so healthy on the side of Safarius. Not looking so good for Dreams Joseph. Finishing off the CR there. It's just this Jose uh, Juno trying to get a despair stun here. Does land on top of the Okeanos. Connell with a provoke on top of the Masha with the additional turn as well. Dealing so much damage to uh, Dreams Joseph's team. Drops the Barbara. This is going to be it. And there you have it! It's it! He concedes! Safarius with a commanding round two victory over Dreams Joseph. A little bit too much of a gamble there. I was uh, honestly shocked. I really didn't think that the Water Ryu in that situation would have outsped the Barbara. You know, 103 base speed versus 108. But, I mean, that just goes to show the rune quality difference between some of these players might be a little more than we were seeing before. Definitely, and I think that definitely confirms that that Water Ryu or that more is on Swift, not a Despair set. That is a very fast Water Ryu more. Yeah, Zafari, it's really showing why he got that rank 17 in season 17, doing very, very, very well. Very strong opponent. Dreams Joseph needs to play it really safe here, needs to go for a big victory, or he's going home. Most definitely. Look how quick they're drafting already. Zafari with that Okeanos Chung Pung. Dreams Joseph with the Connell, Ciara Juno, and then respond more. Hey, gang, Diana Molly. These drafts are just falling out here. Wraps up his draft with a Ganymede. Both these, both these players know exactly what they want. A little bit worried for Dreams Joseph, though. I can't tell if he's confident or tilted. He's just kind of flying through it. Zavarius knows exactly what he wants to draft. His standard ladder draft comes out. And there it is, Gan. He's gone and Sierra's gone. Zafarius is going to take the first turn. These are two confident players. So confident that we're going into a round three. Dreams Joseph wants to turn this ship around. Or does Zafarius want to get that 3-0 victory over our 2018 America's Cup champion? It'd be the first 3-0 we see in the entire tournament. It could be Zafarius could be taking that title, but Dreams Joseph wants to deny it. He wants the victory for himself.
He definitely does. Chung Pung with the big third skill, getting the resets attack bar reduction as well. Rain of Stones coming out, getting stuns on top of everybody, but Diana's gonna be procking out, possibly looking for a stun on top of Chung Pung. Nails that stun! Joseph, Molly not doing a lot for us, not giving us the glancing that we need. Chung Pung did manage to attack bar reduce both the fire units pretty effectively. However, Okeanos did miss the reset, so Carnal will have some value here. Juno with a beautiful despair stun on top of Chung Pung. These two players know exactly what they want to do here. Okeanos trying to pummel in this damage on top of the Diana. Diana is going to be transforming here. I haven't seen two players play this quickly in quite a while. They're confident. They're ready to go. Nobody's wasting any time. I know what I want. That Chung Pong needs to go. Yeah, these two players being very, very confident with the cleanse on top of his counter to remove that glancing from the field. Looking for some attack bar pushback coming from that Hagen. Possible going to be going for the AoE Despair Stun out of the Juno, and he does get a little lucky there getting that Despair Stun on top of that Chung Pong. What a big stun from Okeanos, lands a four-man, even with the molly down, does manage to land the reset this time. Carnal not having any skills, no slow debuff up for him. But the problem is, Zafarius has no healing. He has no way to deal with the extra damage from this Diana. That's right, Dreams Joseph with the War of Attrition. He has this molly able to heal up his team so much. Zafarius needs to somehow limit this damage and maybe possibly remove a unit from the field. Diana says no, Diana's coming in here to get rid of this Chunk Pong ASAP, removing this unit. Something worth note is, this Diana is also really tanky. She's fast, tanky, and on crit damage. She has everything. Dreams Joseph really trying to prove us wrong. He knows he has the root quality. He wants to show it to all of us here on the world stage. Yeah, it definitely does. You can see the folks sitting on top of that. Okeanos have no choice but to go after that Connell. The new unit Dreams Joseph wants to drop here is that Okeanos. Is water we're going to have enough here? Looking for the despair stuns and doesn't receive anything. Pushing that Diana up front. Diana looking to possibly pummel the damage in. And there you have it. Dreams Joseph answers. We're going in to our round four. So I really like Dreams Joseph here. It seemed like he was really confident, and it actually showed. He was super confident. He knew that the water you didn't have the value of being on despair. He knew oh. it was super fast. It outsped his Barbara. There's no way that it would be able to get through and actually kill and control this Diana. I absolutely love that match. Nothing but confidence coming from both these players. And you know what? That's probably what we need to see going into a game four. If Dreams Joseph can play that confident, draft that confident, I think we could possibly see the game five. Be careful, though. This is the opportunity for Zephyrus to have that Gianna on the field. I believe Zephyrus also does get first pick in this matchup, so Sierra can come out, too. We're going to be seeing a new LD Net 5 getting banned out here. We've got a Wool Young getting banned out by Zephyrus. Honestly, not sure if Dreams Joseph has a Wool Young or Zephyrus is just not really interested in banning a lot of things. That is very interesting. I, he could just possibly be banning random LD Nat 5s. This, this is possibly a flex coming out of Safarius, but maybe he won't be flexing if we do go into a game five. Dreams Joseph drafting Ciara and Barbara. Safarius locking in that Okeanos. Ooh, we see something different though. Instead of the Water Ryu, we see the Samoth on a return damage here. Does deal with the Juno fairly effectively. Yeah, Juno Connell and Dreams Joseph taking a pause here, thinking if he wants to lock in these units and does lock these two units in Seferis with two last picks here, and it's going to be the Hay Gang and the Gianna. You like the Hay Gang Gianna here. I think he has enough damage. I think the issue is when you have the Water Ryu on the field in that situation, it's just not enough value when it's on Swift. Even if you get good additional damage on him, he just doesn't have nearly as much threat as someone who can randomly disperse on you. Yeah, most definitely. Dreams Joseph. One last pick. What can he draft here to possibly throw Safarius off? And it looks like we're going to be seeing that Molly coming back as the time ticks down to zero. Yeah, we definitely have to see the Molly on Dreams Joseph's side. We could also see the Diana, but I think it's a little bit too much pressure this time. Oh, well, Okeanos and Molly are going to be the units banned out. Can we go into a game five? Can Dreams Joseph get that victory? Or could Safarius shut it down right here? There it is. First turn going to Gianna. Three units on Will. We do see the Juno on Will. Something a little unique that we don't see all the time. Yeah, definitely unique indeed. Not playing in Dream Joseph's favor right now with a Gianna on the field, but he's able to heal up just a little bit. We're going to see a big, oop, skill one instead going into that Gianna. Actually, pretty good value there from the uh, Barbara. Barbara missing the strip, not pushing the attack bar of that Samoth. Ooh, Zephyrus with the additional turns coming out there. At some time, that is the dream to see a skill three, skill two from this Chung Pung. You can see that we've got Glancing City on top of CR. Sarah can't cycle with first skill. Can't really do much when it's stunned up either. Something worth noting is that this Carnal might be on 100 resistance. I saw a double resist there against the Samoth, as well as a couple of resistances on some other things. It could be designed not to be debuffed by these damage dealing units. 
Yeah, most definitely it could be. This is SWC. Rune quality is always high out here. Bomb does land on the other hand on top of this Kano. Kano does have that third skill primed and ready. Choosing to go for the second skill on top of that Gianna. Juno looking to possibly despair stun this Gianna. Not happening here. Cycling so much attack bar with first skill. Possible attack bar pushback on top of it. Gets the despair stun again on this Barbara. A lot of damage coming out from that Shungpung too. That skill on crit hitting for almost 5k. Dreams Joseph gonna really need it. Oh, and there's the Violent proc from the Carnal. Will get the skill three. Needs the big stuns and the slow debuff. Only got that stun on top of Gianna here. We're gonna see that skill three coming out to reduce the attack by Dreams Joseph unit. Looking so good right now for Safarius. Pummeling the damage with the Samath. Bomb's gonna be landing on top. Bomb is not gonna be landing today, but the first skill's gonna be enough. Dot kills Juno. Looking for the solo. You know, gonna be pretty rough into solo here. All these units, no debuffs on skill one except for the Samoth, and that's the big damage dealer here. A lot of attack bar pushback with the Brush Boys as well. The Art Masters have so much strength. So much strength, but Safarius is moving forward, oh. taking out Dreams Joseph.